pretty newspaper-ish. It does feel like clay, though. Sometimes some of the shit, there's a lot of shrinkage. Uh, that was part of this video here. Now, what was I using on that shit? It was a block of clay that I got at the dollar store, and it's just, you know, clay. It was just plain clay, clay, clay. But on that there, it's six inches by an inch wide. Okay, so I got a strip of clay, six inches by an inch wide. And uh, when it shrunk, because there's shrinkage involved, it shrunk probably a quarter of an inch. Okay? It broke into three pieces, but quarter of an inch shrinkage on, you know, a little six inch by an inch piece. Okay? So keep that in mind when you're using something like clay. If you're going to do that, you have to add something to it to give it some elasticity, some stretch or something. I don't, don't know. Use something different. Green stuff has zero shrinkage, by the way. I mean, zero shrinkage. So green stuff is it's a little bit expensive. Green stuff is two-part polymer stuff. Just in case you don't know. This stuff here, I imagine, has a fair amount of shrinkage. But, like with uh, the sculpt mold, I use that for a, a lot for ground type training. Eh? So that's what I'm going to do with this. Eh? I'm going to just basically you know, cover up, you know, that weird waffle weave stuff that, you know, these hard boards have. It really sucks. So anyways, we'll put this on here and we'll see how long it takes to dry. Three dollars isn't a bad price. I don't imagine the other pound is still there. I know I never would buy this for ten bucks. Never. Ever. <coughs> never. That's way too friggin' much. So, yeah. Yeah, way too much. So if your store sells it for ten bucks, tell them to <coughs> don't buy it. I mean, you got to support your hobby store, but only to a certain extent. Like, our hobby store doesn't, doesn't support the hobbyist, eh? I mean, good lord. Even way back when I was doing this shit commercially, uh, I, I kind of approached the guy a little bit. Actually, I didn't approach him. I just showed him what I was doing. He thought, hey, that's really neat. And then and then said, yeah, but we, we get lots of people that from town that show us stuff, but we, we, we won't buy from people in town. You know, with a kind of a weird smug face on. Like, what? You know, I didn't even ask him if I could put my stuff in the store. Hey, our, our town probably couldn't afford my stuff when I was making it, so, I mean, wah. So I wasn't even going to ask them, I was just showing them it. So, but then after that, I mean, like, holy crap. Because there's some really good artists in town. I mean, I have no idea why he wouldn't buy stuff from local people. Oh my gosh. And now, and now they're into just remote control vehicles, pretty much. Their uh, paint selection got was frozen, hey, on delivery or something, because it's kind of, I'm talking about the one brand of paint, uh, anyways, they know about it, because they've been told, but it's still sitting there, and they haven't bought new stuff, or got any, well, they just don't cater to the, our hobby, type industry, us guys, do, do, do. It wasn't much different when the old man had it, either, so, just make a hobby store here in town, uh, now that I said it, there'll be some Yahoo will start a hobby store here. It'll be just as bad. Anyways, that's what I use this stuff for, is like ground. You can't see. You can't see. God dang it. The hell. See, that's why I need a freaking camera. Freaking. God damn it. Sorry. Apologize. Should go grab the old one handy cam from out in the garage there. It's such a oh man, it's such a. You have no idea how hard it is to get a video up with that stupid thing though, eh? And even then, it's not really remote. I gotta have it wired in too, so. But. My problem is I've got fluorescence, eh? I have a uh, uh, sun shit, sun lamp, sun, what, what are these ones? I can't see. Let's turn the other way. I think they're uh, not daylighters. They're nat natural light type ones, eh? So they're supposed to simulate sunlight, eh? It's for that stupid freaking. 
seasonal adjustment disorder, crapazoid, crap, not enough vitamin D or whatever. I don't know. Gotta get outside. Yeah. Doesn't work when there's not enough light outside. Plus, I live in the mountains, right? It gets darker quicker. It takes longer to get lighter and it gets darker quicker. So, wow. Got a fair amount of that. That's why you add the water and this stuff to it, otherwise, you get to end up too much. So, what should we do with this shit? So, I want it on there. They say you can cast with it, but... See how long it takes to dry a thicker piece and the stuff I got spread on there. Experiment. Like I said, that's the problem eh, with a lot of this stuff is there's no real instructions. I think I said that in the other video that was silent. Instructions for this are mix in a plastic bag or mixing bowl. Add 32 ounces of water to one pound of cellulose clay. So it says mix up the whole pound and go for it. Eh? Yeah, right. Uh, Warm water mixes faster. Uh, room temperature mixes fine. Knead until firm like clay or dough with no dry spots. If mixture is too soft, add more dry machine. If too dry, add water sparingly. For use by very small children. What? For use by very small children. That's what it says. Add a few drops of liquid detergent. Oh! For use by very small children, add a few drops of liquid detergent when mixing. So it doesn't taste yucky, so they don't need it, eh? So it tastes yucky, I mean. Like that. And cayenne pepper! Arr! Mix cellulose clay in a plastic bag. We'll keep it at room temperature for some time! That's it. I mean, that's in the system, so it's pretty useless. So we'll see how long this takes to dry. It is kind of sticky. I just want to make sure that I get a good imprint of... Oh, is there a double there? Oh, got air bubbles on top. Kind of looks like concrete. Let's see what it looks, it looks like when it's dry.